top of the morning to you, and uh, welcome to our Friday leg day, otherwise known as Fry-yay, Fry-yay all day. So I uh, hope that you have a fantastic day. I hope this helps get your day kicked off uh, well. Now, uh, this month, of course, we've been encouraging you to drink water, and uh, just another little tip as to why this is important, but you know, our bodies obviously are made up largely of water, the majority of our body is water, and that water helps deliver, actually it dissolves first, like various nutrients or in some cases even toxic things that need, we need to get out of our body and help deliver things where they need to go. So it helps bring good nutrients to areas of our body that need it. It helps deliver you know, oxygen actually to areas that we need it. And it also helps get toxic things out of our body and excrete things from our body. So water uh, in terms of uh, the function of our body is just so important and hopefully you're putting ample energy into making sure that you're getting your eight glasses or if we look at it from the standpoint of half your body weight in ounces of water per day. So that those are a couple different ways of looking at it. For the average person it's about eight glasses but hey if you happen to be a big drink of water and you're six eight and you're 285, 300 pounds like you might need to drink more water, okay? Like that's just how it is. So you gotta kinda put it in perspective for your body. Now today, instead of telling you a story, I'm gonna talk a little bit about diamonds. Do, does anybody like diamonds out there? Does anybody? Like, like ladies, do you like diamonds? Like I wanna know. No, 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 says Cassie. No, I don't want any more diamonds. So, hey guys, diamonds of course are made over time over a long period of time under a lot of pressure, right? Under a lot of pressure. And uh, so without getting into the geology of how diamonds are formed, like we'll leave it at that. But like what's similar right now, we're kind of like under a lot of pressure, right? And uh, each of you have diamonds inside of you. So what are those diamonds? Those diamonds are like talents and abilities. Talents and abilities that you can sharpen and hone and that you can find. You see, sometimes, like, we don't even know what talents and abilities we ultimately have hiding inside of us. So some of us might have found a couple diamonds that we're, we've sharpened and we've, we've polished and we're using them pretty well, but maybe you've got more diamonds within you that you haven't really found yet. So how do we find those diamonds? Number one, you gotta get your pickaxe. You gotta get your ax, and in this case, the analogy here might be investing in yourself. So investing in uh, additional like uh, seminars, or maybe it's taking a class, or maybe it's reading a new book, or just basically, we could call it seeking knowledge, right? Seeking knowledge and expanding what's in between your ears here. Number two, you gotta kinda pick your spot, right? So, like we create this treasure map of opportunities. So like you could take, this is that old pros and cons thing that you could write down on a piece of paper. Like these are ideas, these are different things that I think I, like I would like to try or things that I would like to learn more about. And then you gotta pick one, right? You gotta pick an area to focus on. Then number three, you gotta chip away a little bit at a time. Guys, sometimes we get overwhelmed by looking at something that we really wanna do and it such, seems like such a big thing that, oh man, like I can never do it, right? But the reality is if we just do a little bit each day or a little bit each week, a little bit on a little bit on a little bit equals a lot. Have you heard that before? Like that's one, of, that's a Rooneyism right there. Like if you put just a little bit on a little bit on a little bit, eventually we've got a lot. So like eventually we get to that goal, right? And then after that, like we gotta keep that ax sharp. We gotta keep the pickaxe sharp. The pickaxe that basically is how we invest in ourselves. We keep that sharp by exercising, by eating well, by getting your sleep on a regular, consistent basis. And then finally, in the end, we gotta never give up. Guys, we never give up. The only time you ever fail at anything is when you stop trying. Right? So you got to remember that, and uh, we're all going to have ups and downs and things that we're trying to accomplish, but the only time we ever fail is when we stop trying. 
So don't stop trying. And hopefully you've hit those five points. And just so you know, that little rendition right there is right out of uh, Rooney's book of five things. So if you happen to have that book, it is in there and you can find it in there as well. All right, guys, um, we are gonna move into our, our uh, little bit of dojo flow and then some hip series warm up. If you have a black band or some sort of lighter band, you are gonna need that eventually once we get into the hip series portion of our warm up. But uh, what I'm gonna do is we're actually gonna, similar to Wednesday, we're gonna start down in the shin box position on the floor. So we're gonna come down and get into a little shin box right here. Once you're in that shin box, depending on how tight you are, for some of you, you might need to grab your shins and help pull yourself up into a good vertical position. So if you're kind of doing the leaning uh, version of this, you might want to just work on pulling yourself vertical first. Otherwise, we're going to bring those arms straight out in front if you feel like you have a pretty good vertical position. We're holding here for five, four, three, two, one, and then we're gonna switch now to the other side, bringing those knees through. And again, position yourself up nice and tall. Then we can hold those arms out and hold here for five, four, three, two, one. And let's shift those knees back to the other side. One more time holding for five, four, three, two, one, excellent. And one more time on the other side, coming through. And again, position yourself nice and tall. Hold those arms out. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna switch the shin box and we're gonna go into rotation here. So I'm gonna bring my body around and down toward the floor, okay? So I reach around and lower in like a little push up and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. So you should feel that in your hip and glute and a little bit in your lower back. We're gonna to switch to the other side, lower down. Five, four, three, two, one. And switch one more time for me, going to the other side, lowering in and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. One, excellent, and one more switch to the other side. Bring it around and down, and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Now we're gonna come over onto your hands and knees, and we're gonna do our frog stretch. So remember here, we're trying to get your knees nice and wide. Your toes should be flared out. You're gonna be down on your elbows. Once you're in that position, we're gonna walk our elbows back and hips toward heels, keeping that arch in your back. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk it forward with your elbows until your hips come through. And pay attention to what you feel in those hip flexors. Sometimes you've got one side a little tighter than the other, that type of thing. Four, three, two, one, and walk it back one more time, driving those sit bones back, keeping that arch in your low back. Five, four, three, two, one, and walk it out one more time, and let the hips come through. Five, four, three, two, one, good job. Come up onto your hands and knees into quadruped. You're gonna dig your toes into the floor, from this position, we're gonna drive your sit bones to the ceiling for downward dog. Now lift up like a calf raise. So I'm gonna lift my hips up, then I'm gonna lower my heels toward the floor and hold five, four, three, two, one. Bring the hips through to up dog. And so the hips are dropping through. Many of you might get a little further than I do. I've got kind of a pretty tight lower back. I'm um, showing my age, I guess, a little bit. We're gonna hold right here. Three, two, one. Let's go back to downward dog one more time. So we're walking it back here. Then up on your toes for calf raise. 
drop the heels toward the floor and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and walk it out, bringing the hips through. Head up should be straight ahead with your forward gaze, hips through toward the floor. Four, three, two, one, and break. All right, guys, we got one more to go on this, and then we're going to work into some uh, hip work. So what I want to do is have you lie on your side for the pretzel. So we're going to take and grab your bottom leg uh, with your top hand. You're going to grab your top leg with your bottom hand and rotate over. Rotate the shoulder back and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Okay, now we're going to switch to the other side. All right. Again, top hand grabs bottom leg. Bottom hand grabs the top knee, pulling over. And hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And break. Excellent. Okay. So, we're going to go next with what's called an assisted fire hydrant. So you're going to take your band here in the seated position around behind your back, okay? And what we're going to do is pull the band up over your knee on each side, just like so. So they're hooked on my knees here. And then I'm going to flip over onto all fours, just like so. Now the idea here is that the band actually pulls your leg up for you and allows you to lift your leg a little higher than you normally would on your own. So you don't want to rush it. You want to take advantage of the help of the band and you want to work on squeezing that glute nice and tight up in that position, all right? This is a great muscle activation exercise right here. So um, starting with your right leg, we're going to lift up and out, ready up. Holding there for one apple, two apple, and bring it back down. And remember, just really focus on locking that glute. Ready up, number two, one apple, two apple, bring it back down. And three, one apple, two apple, bring it back down. And ready up on the right, one apple, two apple, and down for four, two more to go. Ready up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And down for five, ready up, one apple, two apple, bring it down for six, good job. Now we're going to the other side, and so we're going to kick that, that uh, left knee out, ready, ready up, one apple, two apple, and down for one, and up, one apple, two apple, down for two, ready up, one apple, two apple, down for three, Ready up, one apple, two apple, down for four, and up, one apple, two apple, down for five, and one more, ready up, one apple, two apple, down for six. Okay, now you're going to take your band off your knees, and we're going to go to hip thrusters, and today we're going to do only ten, but we're going to do a two second pulse or hold on top. So. Take your band over the hips, uh, hold those hands down toward the floor. We're going to hip thrust up, driving into the heel of your foot, holding one apple, two apple, down for one. And back up, one apple, two apple, down for two. And up, squeeze those glutes really tight. Apple, two apple, down for three. Good job, ready up. One apple, two apple, down for four. And up. One apple, two apple, down for five. And up. One apple, two apple, down for six. Ready up. One apple, two apple, down for seven. And up. One apple, two apple, down for eight. And two more. Ready up. One apple, two apple, down for nine. And up. One apple, two apple, down for ten. Very good. Now, we're going to go back to fire hydrants, guys, but no band. So this time you're going with your body weight, all right? 
So no band assist this time. So we're on those hands and knees. Remember to pull your toes toward your knees, okay? And uh, we'll start on the right, still with the two second hold. Ready, up, one apple, two apple, down for one. And up, one apple, two apple, down for two. And up, one apple, two apple, down for three. And up, one apple, two apple, down for four. And up, one apple, two apple, down for five. And up, one apple, two apple, down for six. Going on the other side. Ready, go. Ready, up. One apple, two apple, down for one. And up, one apple, two apple, down for two. And up, one apple, two apple, down for three. And up, one apple, two apple, down for four. And up. One apple, two apple, down for five. One more to go, ready up. One apple, two apple, down for six. Very good. Now we're going back to our hip thruster. Same drill, 10 reps, two second hold, okay? So we're back on your backside. Remember to drive into the heels of your feet. Lock into your glutes and your lower abs on each one. It's a good exhale. Ready up. One apple, two apple, one. And up. One apple, two apple, two. Ready up. One apple, two apple, three. And guys, if your glutes aren't getting tired by the time you're done, you gotta focus more. Like, lock them in tight. Ready up. One apple, two apple, three. Ready up. One apple, two apple, four. And up. One apple, two apple, five. And up. One apple, two apple, six. And up. One apple, two apple, seven. And up. One apple, two apple, eight. Woo. And up. One apple, two apple, nine. And one more to go. One apple, two apple, ten. Excellent. All right. Next, you're going to take your band. If it's hanging like this right here, we're gonna make a figure eight with your band, and then you're gonna slide your feet inside. All right, awesome. Then we are going to our fire hydrants one more time. This time there will not be a pause on top. We're gonna to go through six reps each side and one more set of hip thrusters. Here we go, ready? This would be, you know what, last set, woo! Best set on this series right here. So, right side, ready, go. And one, two, three. Make sure you're pulling those toes toward your knees. Four, five, and six. Good job, now the other side. And one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now keep the band on your knees and roll over onto your backside so the band stays on. We're gonna do our hip thruster this way. And when you hip thrust up, you're pulling your knees out into the band at the same time. All right, here we go. Ready, up, one apple, two apple, one. And up, one apple, two apple, two. And up. One apple, two apple, three. And up. One apple, two apple, four. And up. One apple, two apple, five. And up. One apple, two apple, six. And up. One apple, two apple, seven. And up. One apple, two apple, eight. And up. One apple, two apple, nine. And up, one apple, two apple, 10. Very good, all right. Our next move on our warm up, we are gonna be starting kind of in a high plank and we're gonna do five squats to planks. Now, um, let's see, Chris, if you can't do the plank, we can just do five nice deep squats working on a good hip drop with a little hold at the bottom. But what we're gonna be doing right here, guys, you're 
feet should be about shoulder width apart in the high plank position. You're gonna rock back into a squat, okay? And then we're coming back out into the full extension with a nice flat position with your body on the plank, all right? So you're either gonna do that or you're gonna do the hip drop with the standing squat. All right, here we go, ready? And go, dropping back into the plank, hold there. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it out into high plank and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. And extend out. Five, four, three, two, one. We got one more, guys. Bring it back, five, four, three, two, one, and extend out, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. All right, Whew. Next, we're gonna do some straight leg fire hydrants. So we're gonna be on your hands and knees. And guys, like, make sure you're keeping your abs tight and you're driving that work into your glutes. So we got your right leg out, heel up, toe down. Uh, this is no hold. We got six on each side. Ready, up, one, tap the toe, two, three, four, five, and six. Good. Switching sides, left leg out, heel up, toe down. Ready, up, one, up. Two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up for six. Excellent. All right, guys, now we're going back to that plank, drop into the squat, or if you're standing, you're going to drop into the low uh, hip drop and hold for five, okay? Here we go. Ready? And go. And one. Two, three, four, five. Bring it out into the high plank. Five, four, three, two, one. Rock it back to squat. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep those abs tight. Rock it out. Five, four, three, two, one. Rock back to squat one more time. Five, four, three, two, one, and bring it back out to high plank, hold, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. All right, guys, we just got one more set of fire hydrants with the straight leg, and then we're getting into the rest of our workout, okay? So right leg out, heel up, toe down, ready, ready, one, and up, and down, up for two. And up, three, up for four. Heel up, toe down, up for five. And up for six, excellent. Going to the left leg, heel up, toe down. Ready up, and down for one. Ready up, down for two. Up, down for three. Up, and down for four. Up down for five, and up, and down for six. Excellent job, guys, on the hip activation work. Hopefully you're feeling loose as a goose and ready to do some squats for me. So let's go ahead and grab a quick drink of water, all right? See, coach needs water too, right? You gotta remember that. We all need water. All right. So, our first circuit, you're gonna need kettlebells or dumbbells, okay? Kettlebells or dumbbells. And if you remember last week what I did was we did a walking squat hold for two seconds. So basically, um, I think everybody's with me except Kurt. So Kurt, I'm gonna show you how this goes. Basically, we drop into a, a squat, like the low end of a deadlift here. One apple, two apple, we come back up and then I step out and we're gonna go again, all right? One apple, two apple, take a step. 
So we got 10 of those followed up by 12 tuck ups or accordion crunch. So tuck up being once again in the high plank right here and I'm gonna jump forward with my feet into the tuck position and back to plank. So we got 12 of those in between, all right? Or an accordion crunch right here. This one's a little more shoulder friendly. So we're gonna tuck up here like this for 12, all right? So you got 12 tuck ups or 12 accordion crunches with your squat hold for 10 with the two second pulse at the bottom, all right? Here we go, let's grab those weights. We're gonna go 10 reps here. Ready, and together, here we go. One apple, two apple, one, take a step, and squat in. One apple, two apple, up for two, and out, and one apple, two apple, up for three, and out. Try to alternate your forward leg. One apple, two apple, up for four, step out, and down, one apple, two apple, up for five. Taking it back, and down, one apple, two apple, up for six, step out, and down, one apple, two apple, up for seven. Good job, guys, and down, one apple, two apple, up for eight, we got two more. Step out, and down, one apple, two apple, up for nine, and one more, and down, one apple, two apple, up for 10. Good, now we got those tuck ups, guys, down on the ground, or accordion crunch. Woo, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Nice job. Yeah, here we go. Woo. Remember guys, if the tuck up is a little hard on the lower back, uh, go to the accordion crunch that I demonstrated on the floor, okay? All right, here we go. Next round. Remember to keep that chin up, chest up on your squats. Ready, down, one apple, two apple, up for one, and step out, take it down, one apple, two apple, up for two, big step, and down, one apple, two apple, up for three, here we go, and down, one apple, two apple, up for four, big step, and down, and one apple, two apple, up for five, good job. Head back the other way, and down, one apple, two apple, up for six, big step out, and down, one apple, two apple, up for seven, and step out, and down, one apple, two apple, up for eight, two more to go, and down, one apple, two apple, up for nine, and one more, drop down, one apple, two apple, up for 10. Very good. Back to your tuck ups or accordion crunch, guys. Remember our accordion looks like this. Right here, tucking it in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Woo, nice job. Two down. Two to go, two to go, we're halfway. Here we go, grab those weights. Woo, nice work. Here we go, feet nice and wide, in that squat position, chin up, chest up, ready, down. One apple, two apple, one, step out, and down. One apple, two apple, up, for two, and down. One apple, two apple, up, for three, Take a step, and down, one apple, two apple, four, and up, take a step, 
and down. One apple, two apple, up, and take a step. Here we go, that was five, taking it down. Ready, one apple, two apple, up for six, and step, and down. One apple, two apple, seven. Good job, big step, and drop. One apple, two apple, eight, and step, and drop. One apple, two apple, nine. Awesome job, big step, last one. Drop, one apple, two apple, up for 10. Very good. Woo, tuck ups or accordion crunch, 12 reps. End of three, here we go. Woo, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Woo! Nice job. Nice work. <laughs> Woo! Hey guys, you know what this means? This is set number four. Last set. Woo! Best set. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Ready? Drop. One apple. Two apple. Up for one. And out. And down. One apple. Two apple. Up for two. And out. And down. One apple. Two apple. Up for three. Step out. And down. One apple. Two apple. Up for four. Step out and down. One apple, two apple up for five. Good job. Taking it back and down. One apple, two apple up for six. Stepping out and down. One apple, two apple up for seven. And step out and down. One apple, two apple, eight. Step out and down. One apple, two apple, nine. Good job, step out and down. One apple, two apple, 10, and up. Very good. All right, guys, 10 more, 12 more tuck ups or accordion crunch. Here we go. Woo! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Woo! Nice job. All right. Hey guys, fantastic work so far. Hopefully you're starting to feel a little pump in those thighs. For our next one, we've got our lateral lunge. All right, so you can have two dumbbells, kettlebells, um, body weight if need be, if you don't have anything, water jugs, whatever. We're gonna step out, and we got one dumbbell outside, one inside. I come back to center, I step the other way, and back to center, okay? So we got five reps each side, and then, if you're able, we got a single leg RDL, okay? So I'm here, I'm dropping down on the single leg, picking that back leg up, and then coming back up to the top, okay? So single leg RDLs for five still, just like last week on each leg. We've got four sets of the lunges and the RDLs, okay? Four sets. We're gonna start with our lateral lunges first. Guys, if you get a little ahead of me or you're tracking a little behind, don't worry, focus on your form, your technique, do what's best for you, okay? All right, here we go. Ready to go? So we got five to each side. Make sure that you're keeping that pressure of your body weight toward the heel of your foot, right? Not the ball of your foot. So you're trying to shift that weight back, shift your butt back a little bit. Good. And then we got five single leg RDLs after these lunges here. If you're having balance problems, you could use a, a chair or a bench and no weights and just work on the hinge pattern without weights right there. 
just work on the balance aspect, okay? So that's another option with that as well. There at home, looks like you're all rocking it pretty good. From what I can see here. All right, now I'm behind you guys. Holy cow, that's what I get for talking too much. Here we go. Woo! Good work, guys. Keep rolling. So once you've got your single legs on each side, go ahead and roll right into your next set. You're doing great. Remember, it's five for each. I just about lost it right there. Here we go. Good job. Woo! All right. Set number two. Woo. Remember where your weight goes, goes to the heel. Keeping that core tight, try to keep your chin up and chest up a little bit. So you really don't want to be looking at your feet. You want to be looking straight out. All right. Woo. You got it. Good work. There it is. Yeah. Good. All right. Single legs. Woo. There it is. Two, three, four, and five. Keep in mind if you're struggling on the balance, where you hold your weights out to the side will help. So sometimes holding those weights out a little bit away from your knee as you bend forward helps bring more balance to what you're doing, okay? Good work. Woo! Hey, you should be feeling a little fire down under right there right now. Those glutes should be starting to come alive and feeling like they're getting some fire going. Doing good. Woo! That's it. Stay with it. This is round three, guys. We got four total sets. All right, four total. Woo! Nice job. Nice job. Here we go. That's it. Woo! Third set of four, so we got one more total round after this. Doing great. Woo! Nice. Yes. So, this is your last set. Woo-wah! Best set. Here we go. lunges. Good stuff. All right. A couple more to go. It's almost over. For some of you, the lunges are over. All right. Single leg. RDL. One last time. Here we go. Whew. Good work, good work, guys. And the other side. These are great exercises for balance, obviously, but it also helps isolate those glutes. If you ever had much for ankle sprains or foot problems, like they're also very good for the kinetic, kinetic chain of muscles that keeps all that stuff going. So very good. All right, quick drink. If you have a stability ball, you're gonna need it on this next one. Kurt, do you have a ball? No ball? Okay, no problem, I got you, all right? So, uh, two, two or three options we have, all right? 
So the first one is going to be our tabletop bridge, but uh, I'm here to tell you today, no pause. Like we've been doing pauses, but today we're going to do 20, okay? So today we're in position, this is our tabletop bridge, thrust up and back to the ground. Just like our hip thrusters with the barbells, but no barbell, okay? So we got 20 of those. Then, for those of you that have a ball, we're going 10 leg curls with the stability ball. After that, if you don't have the stability ball, a uh, couple of options would be, number one, we could do a reverse flutter kick right here on the ground, where we're trying to kick just as if you were kind of paddle, paddle boarding, paddle kicking in the water. So we kind of work that from the glutes for 20 on each side, okay? So that would be the second option. Or if you had a chair, you could put your feet up on a chair and do a second version of a hip thruster that's a little bit more hamstring oriented because you have your feet up on the bench. So either one of those is fine, all right? And uh, we're gonna start off with our tabletop bridges first for 20 reps, guys. And again, like we've been pausing for two seconds on top, doing 10 or 12 reps today. We've got no pause, 20 reps. Here we go, ready? And go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Excellent. Okay, now we got leg curls, flutter kicks, or elevated hip thruster. Uh, if you do the elevated hip thruster, it would be 10 reps. Otherwise, the flutter kicks are 20. One, two, three, four. Make sure you're lifting your butt up on these leg curls when you're doing them. So we're not doing this here. We want to make sure your hips come up with uh, pulling the ball back toward your butt, okay? You got to get that elevation on the hips there. All right. Hey, awesome job. Here we go, 20 on the hip thrust. Go get it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure you're driving into the heel of your foot right there on the hip thrust. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Excellent. Woo! 10 leg curls. Again, if you're ahead of me, behind me, doesn't matter. Just keep your, keep your pace. Keep rolling. Focus on how you're doing it. Make sure you're doing it well. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! Awesome job. All right. Back to our hip thrusters. Third set. Here we go. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nice work guys, nine, halfway there, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Woo, nice job. Leg curls again, 10. Leg curls or elevated hip thrusters, 10 reps. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent, excellent. Last set. Woo! Best set. There we go. All right, 20 more hip thrusters. Ready, ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Woo! Nice job. 10 more leg curls, or reverse flutter kicks, or elevated hip thrusters. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! Nice work, warriors. Hey, if nothing else, us warriors, we know how to use our hips. Am I, am I right, guys? Come on. All right, good job. Woo! Good work, good work, okay. So, next, we've been working on a little finisher the last two weeks where we do our side plank leg lifts. Then we go to a Superman T hold and we do a squat jump, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. The first week we did two sets. The second week we did three. Today we're gonna do four, okay? So we're kind of progressing this a little bit. And I got my timer right here with me. This is our last uh, circuit of the day. So, hey, last circuit, best circuit, right? Come on. And uh, so we got our side plank leg lift. So on that, remember, we can go from the knee and we can do our leg lifts, okay? Or we can go from the toe and do our leg lifts as well. Whatever's better for you. I know for me, like oftentimes I gotta go from my knee, I feel like I hold a better position there. So whatever is good for you though, right? Make sure we got those abs locked in, your glutes tight on that side plank position. All right, if uh, you're not doing side plank, we could do side crunch on each side. Maybe uh, kind of, yeah, on each side. side. Side crunches instead of side planks. All right, three, two, one. Side plank leg lift, here we go. So I got those shoulder blades tight. I got my nice straight body line from knee, hip to shoulder, and a good leg lift. And we got five more seconds here. Woo! And break, switch sides. Ready in three, two, one. Side plank leg lift. Here we go. Good work. Woo! Nice job. Really should be starting to feel some good work coming into those glutes right now. Doing great. Five, four, three, two, one. Break. Then we're in the Superman T with your arms out to the side. We're going to lift up and just hold, hold that Superman like we're flying through the clouds. Three, two, one, go. Squeeze those shoulders back and down. Lock those glutes, lock that back, keep those arms up, kind of retract that chin back toward the ceiling. Doing good. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. And break. Good job. All right, next we got our squat jumps. Squat jumps are next for 20 seconds. Ready and go. Woo! That's it, lots of reps. If we can't squat jump, we got a speed squat. 
So if those knees aren't cooperating, let's get that speed squat. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Great. Woo! Starting over. Set number two. Woo, doggy. Here we go. Ready? Side plank up with your leg lift. Woo! Good work. You got it. If you're cramping up or something like that, just hold the side plank. Otherwise, keep those leg lifts going. Woo! Four, three, two, one. Break. Other side. Man, who would have known Jane Fonda was so damn tough, huh? She's something else. All right, here we go. Ready, go. That's it. Getting those leg lifts. Woo! Really good stuff for you guys right here. Really good corrective work. Good for the pelvis, hips, core. Three, two, one. And break. Now we're Superman on the hold. In four, three, two, one. Lift and hold. Woo! Squeeze those shoulders. Lock them back and down. Focus, little glutes, little shoulder blade. Elbows back. Holding, holding. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Back to our squat jumps. Round end of two here. Nice job. Here we go. Ready? Go. Woo. Nice. This puts us halfway, guys. Halfway. Looking good. Woo. Nice. Five, four, three, two, one. And break. Back to our side plank. Set three with the leg lift. Woo! Ready and go. That's it. Hey, the rest of the day is going to seem so easy, huh? Not so bad. We got this. 10 seconds. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Great job. Going to the other side. Knee bent and ready up with the leg lift. Here we go. Side plank leg lift. Looking good. Woo! 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Can't wait till June 1st, guys. I get you in my sights right here at the dojo. Break. Woo! Good job. Superman. Superman with the hold. Ready and go. Good job. Tucking those shoulder blades back and down toward your waistline. Keep it going. Great day today, guys. This is the end of, coming up on close to the end of three here. Holding. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. And break. Back up for squat jump. Good work. In four, three, two, one, go. Woo! Great hustle, guys. Good work today. Hey, Michelle Smith, how's it going? Top of the morning to you. Woo! Keep it going. That's it. Good work. Woo! Three, two, one, and break. Last set. Come on. Best set, take it down, side planks, here we go. Woo! Yeah, almost there. Nice work today, love it. Woo! Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and other side. Ready, and side plank up, and go. Woo! Beautiful. Oh yeah, fry yay. 
Friday all day. Woo! Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, Supermans. Supermans are next. T position, arms out the side, lifting, and go. And hold. Shoulder blades back and down, guys. Lock them in. Doing great. Woo! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Break. Woo! One more time on the squat jumps. Here we go. Ready and go. Woo! Bring it home, guys. Doing great. Beautiful leg day. Yeah. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Nice job. Nice job, guys. Zoomers will be back for a picture in just a second. Woo! Nice job, YouTubers.